Hi guys, uh, let's begin this session with the analysis of Nifty. So what happened this week was that Nifty was uh, struggling a lot. It tried to go up, it, it tried to fall, then it tried to go up and eventually it closed with a rejection. So we still have potential of it moving up, but uh, we haven't got a strong indication. So once we have a strong weekly indication, we can see strong trend uh, starting on a lot of stocks. Now what I realized is a lot of stocks are at a position where they have come and they have done a pullback and they're waiting to move. And Nifty's uh, direction is what is going to give them the momentum to move, right? So let's take a look at these stocks and we'll quickly also check Bank Nifty. Right, so Bank Nifty, similar thing, we have a rejection. This is a stronger rejection, a better candlestick than one on Nifty, although both have an inside candle, right? So next week would make a lot of difference in terms of the direction for the next, for the future uh, four or five weeks, okay? Uh, let's start with ACC. Now what I see on ACC is that we were in a range and this week we have a breakout of the previous week's high, all right? and uh, also a rejection. So I'm expecting the market to start uh, its upward move, but first target basically for next week is the previous high at 1651. If that is breached, then the next resistance at 1733. Right, so you can see the candlestick. Uh, yesterday we had a breakout of the last couple of days. In fact, the last uh, 10, almost 10 days. And today was an inside candle with a rejection all right so i'm expecting market to touch the recent high and then move to the next high amaraj if you see uh, last week itself we had for this week we had a sell call on this um, and that's what happened pulled up gave up retracement and then fell now it is closed near the low so expecting the market to touch the next low after breaking these uh, supports 573 is the next target although you see the trend is strongly bearish and then we had a pullback of about 38 percent so targeting the next low at 576 in this uh, coming week asian paints as you already know we have been bullish on this for quite a while ever since this uh, rejection happened and price is continuing to move upwards right although the cements are not doing well but paints are uh, Asian Pins are doing well, even Bojo is doing well. So this is continuing to stay on the upward trend. So I'm bullish on this for this week as well. Aurobindo Pharma, I'm actually bearish. You can see price went up and gave an indecision candle here. right? So we need a confirmation before we start to sell here. Uh, price is going sideways, a uh, reversal signal is required at least on the 4 hourly chart before you start to go short or close below this low. Uh, Bajad FinServ, last week we had an engulfing, this week we had a retest of the support and a rejection. Right, so see now you can see the similarity between these stocks, uh, the way the candlestick is formed and the nifty chart or the bank nifty chart especially nifty chart so same thing they are all waiting for a confirm moved on nifty if so the stocks are going to do well or the trades for next week you'll have to keep an eye on what nifty is doing if the nifty does start to move up most of the buy calls are the ones which are going to be doing better all right and if nifty starts to fall then the sell calls is what you have to check now if you see the thing we have more or less majority of the trades on the buy side but we do have some sell trades also all right so you'll have to keep an eye on both and according to basis on what nifty is doing especially for intraday traders basically just look at nifty and accordingly uh pick the ones that you want to play with so moving on to the bank nifty we already checked bata bata like uh, we see last week itself we were bullish this week we have closed above the previous swing high which is a good sign, right? We're expecting further upward momentum on butter. So still bullish on this. Like I said, paints are doing well. Berger paints is also doing well. This is a nice 
resistance which has been broken recently and uh, price did test this on a day and then started to move up so still bullish on this but you see the candlesticks are getting smaller and smaller so there may be a reversal maybe another big move and then a reversal all right so a strong big move could actually signal reversal so i'm still bullish on this until we get some reversal signals uh bhel bearish we have we were bearish after this low was broken last week this week you see gap down uh still continuing still expecting further downward move on bhel all right so next target 28 but then we have a lot of support here so we have support at 43 so here uh, it would not make sense to sell on the at the current price all right it would make sense to wait for a pullback which should be somewhere around here or it could be either 56 between 55 and 56 and then you could go short right so don't sell at the current price wait for a pullback and then you could start shorting this similarly with britannia britannia also is looking uh, bearish but we are at a support so for this you need to wait for a pullback you can see already there is a bullish engulfing which have engulfed the last two candles on the four hour ch chart so wait for a pullback preferably the previous support you'll have to use fibonacci to check the actual levels where it can bounce up uh, as we see in the charts we have a good support at um, 2610 so that is where you can look at a short between 2610 and 2635. Uh, uh, CSC is bullish. We had rejection a couple of weeks this week also, but a stronger, uh, more on the upside. So we are starting to see the uptrend here. But because of this spike, you can expect the price to actually pull down a little bit and then further move up. Colgate Palm Lift, a few weeks back, we had a buy signal on this and then you can see this week, it has done a retracement. All right, so this is not a sign of bearish movement. This is just a retracement. If we go into a daily chart, it becomes much clearer. So the price moved up, did a retracement and now a rejection, uh, reversal signal again. All right, so this is good to go for the current week. PC Bank, this daily chart broke the range. Uh, weekly chart, you can see price moving up and we have a good room for this uh, stock to capture, right? So this is kind of an early entry that you're getting. Uh, 244 is the, the swing high that we are looking at. So this is a good stock to buy and hold for about two weeks. Uh, options for September would be a good idea on this call options Aisha Motors still bearish we have support lined up at 14,800 15,000 range so until then we're still bullish uh, bearish so still further bearish movement expected on this engineers you see that we had a breakout a very strong weekly breakout and then a reject a pullback for the last two weeks now the pullback is done so this is time the stock can start to fall and we have a confirmation on the daily chart also right you can see the price fell did a pullback to the previous support and now a rejection candlestick indicating this is the time to enter for the next downward move so at least for this week you can be on the sell side of this escorts i'm already holding a trade in this uh, i'm on the bearish side this week uh, price did go up last week this week slight movement not much but uh, still on the bearish side so i'm expecting one big fall one of these days until then just sideways movement godred consumer uh, you can see last week was a signal this week we have done a retracement to the support so i'm bullish on this for the coming week also and if you go into a lower time frames you can see the reasons uh, we have the market doing a pullback 
only thing is you have to wait for a confirmation here so you might get a better entry in this or you might get a breakout of 626 whichever would uh, whichever side you get a confirmation that's when you can start to enter so direction is bullish but we're still waiting for the market confirmation on this the good thing is that it has done a retracement so we're getting a better entry uh, on this stock HCL technologies actually should be red uh, the reason being all IT stocks are looking bearish to me right now okay so uh, I'm bearish on this HCL technologies the reason being we had we uh, tested the previous resistance and now we are looking at further downside movement all right at, at least till 997 which is the recent low in this time Unilever uh, doing well this week not much of a movement in decision so here we need a confirmation although the direction is bullish but we are in a range so we need a confirmation on the lower time frames before we can start to buy this there might be a correction or there might be a confirmation at the top itself we'll have to wait and watch in the rest the gas has given a nice uh, bullish engulfing actually it's not a I would rather call it a breakout of the range because the candle has closed above, below um, above the high of the last couple of weeks so it's it's a range breakout not really an engulfing uh, range breakout also indicating that we are looking at further target of 350 which is the first target indigo uh, you can see this last week itself was a rejection price moved up pullback rejection this week confirmation so expecting it to make new highs very soon a bullish on indigo in the press gas we just saw mine tree limited as you can see uh, price did a strong decline there was a fall panic selling minor pullback actually pull back till the previous support right and then a confirmation so this is a very good stock to go short for the current week especially options you can see some uh, good return okay I'm not sure if um, it has options but anyways um, it's a good shot Mudood Finance, even Manipuram uh, looking good, but this one looking better. Strong rejection at the support after the upward move, right? So we are in an upward channel and you can see that the lows are strongly moving up. Uh, there's a channel on the... Okay, so we are in an upward channel after this breakout. Uh, still, the target would be... The next so expecting a new high in this very soon you can use a Fibonacci projection to see the next target and I am um, bullish on Mudood Finance now Nifty IT has given a reversal or more of a downward signal all right so I'm bearish on this and on the IT stocks as well so NIT technologies looking bearish price move down pull back and further downside so we have spikes on all side but there's not um, we can see on the lower time frame it is starting to fall MD DC as you see we're still bearish on this uh, price has ma made an indecision candle on the weekly chart and on daily if you see we have no signs of further bullish no signs of bullish movement we're still looking at further downward uh, move 89 should be the next target about 90 power finance is looking like it's made a its retest is done found some support and starting to make the next move so last couple of weeks five six weeks that it was falling it should now start its upward move as you see most of the time it goes in the same direction for a couple of weeks right so once it does start we should be looking at upward movement until 135 bit light like last week we're still bullish on this it has broken the recent highs and uh, it's at an all-time high so there's no resistance 
we never know where it's going to stop but definitely bullish power grid uh, we can see that price had come into a range you can see the trend line here actually it needs to be adjusted a little bit okay i'm actually not that good at trend lines but yeah this is the one that i was trying to show you we had a breakout and a pullback and then a strong engulfing all right so this indicates we are looking at further upside now first target being 229 and on a fibonacci a projection you can get the next target above 229 Ramco Cements is also bearish REC has given a, re a reversal last week itself it is still moving up target is the recent high which is at 170 so whenever you're looking at targets you always give higher preference to the recent price action so the recent high was at 170 before that was 160 then we had 183 so recent one gets more preference 170 is what we're looking at TCS as I discussed uh, ID stocks looking bearish TCS you have a reversal signal also evening star on weekly uh, bearish engulfing lot of reasons to sell so this is bearish for this week at least till the next support which is at 2071 Titan was bullish last week itself this week not much of a movement but that's because nifty is it needs some support from nifty so it's waiting to go up uh, still on the bullish side on this just need some a momentum and then it can pick up TV18 as you see has been falling continuously and this week again we have a rejection So further downside, but um, the candlesticks which are there, the red candlesticks are not very big. So you need to be careful on this. So if you're shorting this, it's better you wait for a pullback and then short this. Don't short this at the current price. Vipro again uh, bearish, but then after a pullback, we have a confirmation. So we might see a re um, retest of 257, 258 and then you could go short on Wipro. Alright, that's it for now guys. Um, please be in touch. Any other queries you can get in touch with us through our website or through this channel through the comment section. Also, we will have the live trading session soon. So let us know uh, if any of you would like to join. It's a free session. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye. All the best.